So I'm making this video more or less for personal reasons, but if you own an NVIDIA graphics card, then chances are you've had negative experiences with the GeForce Experience program. Look, we love the hardware, we love the efficiency, and with the exception of the current market, thanks to crypto miners, we love the prices, but I think I speak for most here when I say that we hate the new software. GeForce Experience is about as stable as my hand was when I painted this. With the new 3.1 point whatever version of GFE, you are not only handed mounds of instability within the app and in game, but you also have to do ridiculous things like sign into the program. We have to sign into this software before we can use any of its features and I find that ridiculous. Just another way for a big company to take advantage of our data. On top of that, on a few occasions, I can't even get past the login screen to access the tools I use on a daily basis. I like to use Shadowplay because it has extremely low overhead and is very simple to use. It's just just a preference I've had since the beginning, you may prefer some other software. Desktop recording is also a very nice feature. But with these persistent updates that we oftentimes can't control or keep from happening, like Windows 10 updates, I've found that a few of my PCs can't even open NVIDIA Share. This is where Shadowplay now resides. My X299 PC suffered this Walter Wright version 3, as did my recent Ryzen 7 PC build. I could log into the GeForce Experience app without a problem, but then when I go to turn on Shadowplay, uh, the Share feature, it would just stay off. It would act like it was turning on and then shut right back off again. And it wouldn't tell me why it was unable to open the share feature. So I tried uninstalling completely with DDU starting from scratch, changing file permissions. None of that worked. But now I have a solution that fellow green members can follow to rid themselves of the plague that has become the new GeForce Experience program. The fix? uninstall GFE and install a much older version. It's actually super simple. The first thing you'll want to do, assuming you've already installed and updated NVIDIA drivers, is navigate to your PC's control panel. From here, click uninstall a program and scroll down to the plethora of NVIDIA programs, HD audio, the graphics driver, 3D vision, it should all be here. Click on the GeForce Experience program and uninstall. Don't worry, this won't remove any vital graphics software. You can play games completely fine. Everything will still run as it should. You just won't be able to stream and use shadow play within GFE until later because you won't have it until then. At this point, navigate to the link in this video's description. It's tied to a Google Drive download for a much older GFE version, version 2.11.4.0. I've scanned it for viruses and found no issues, but scan it again yourself just in case. You can also find similar versions like this one elsewhere on the web. Just, you know, do a typical Google search. Just be careful from where you download. Next, click the executable. An NVIDIA installer should open up where you can promptly install the older GeForce Experience program. <sighs> Isn't this a breath of fresh air? Kind of like a throwback Thursday. Everything is very stable in this version of GFE for both my Ryzen and X299 PCs, and Shadowplay is just as functional and low profile as ever. If you're on any other Intel platform that's semi-modern, has well Skylake, Kaby Lake, you should be fine as well. Perfect for my daily needs, both on YouTube and in-game. I, I love Shadowplay, I really do. But we're not finished yet. There are a few more things we need to do to work around NVIDIA's clever auto-update utility. So when you open the GeForce Experience for the first time, the new older version, the version 2.11.4.0, you're not gonna be prompted to update. But if you close it out and then open it again, say after you turn your computer off and then back on, it's probably gonna force you to update to the latest GeForce experience. It's gonna think you're just way behind the times and it's gonna give you no choice. So we need to disable that within our services taskbar. First though, set things up in GFE the way you'd like. Range icons and either enable or disable desktop sharing and then hop on over to preferences. Disable these two checkboxes down at the bottom. This is just a precaution, but it's not gonna prevent the thing from wanting to force an update. Then to be on the safe side, navigate to the start menu within Windows and type services. Press enter and in this window, navigate to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Right click over the program, find the service status bar and click stop. Now attempt to reopen GFE. If all is well, the program shouldn't prompt an automatic update, which is exactly what would have happened if we hadn't disabled this service. From here on out, you should be good to go. If Nvidia somehow still forces the update, then you can do one of two things. You can either follow, uh, there are a few extra steps in the description. I might add them if a few of you run into the issue where you are forced to update no matter what. I'll put extra steps there that should help remedy that issue. Uh, and then you can also, worst case, just uninstall the new update and then reinstall the old one. Just don't keep opening GFE. Just leave it closed uh, and let Shadowplay run in the background like it does when you first start up your PC. And that should 
should be enough right there. I mean, if you're only going to use Shadow Play in GFE, you don't even need to open GFE. Once you set things up the way you like, which is why I told you to do that before we changed the service status, uh, then that should be all you need to do. Just set your hotkeys and you'll never have to open GFE again. If you have any questions or concerns, or if the link is broken, let me know and I'll throw up a few alternative links in the description. Again, check those all for viruses though, don't take my word for anything because programs are kind of spotty. But for now, just follow the steps I've outlined here and you shouldn't have a single problem with GeForce Experience again. If this video helped you out in some way, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for more content like this here on the channel. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.